Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Civil War. This is episode 45 of our Union Let's Play. This is the final episode of the campaign. This is part two of Richmond. Um, I'm going to speed through this intro because we are already in combat and, uh, alright, forces moving out, trying to figure out what's going on. Ooh, that just, the map lightened up quite a bit. Okay, so they're, they're fleeing. All Americans, I need them to get back into position. Silver Snipers, you're too close. Rolling forth. Um, I think I was going to have you guys move back with your brigade, but now that doesn't make as much sense. Let's have you guys all move forward. Uh, that artillery piece. No, no, no. Keep shooting that artillery. Okay. That's... Uh... Let's have you guys move out. All American needs to get back with its parent parent group. Okay. And then you guys, let's push you over here. Um, I am a little bit worried over there. Let's bring this artillery down. We're going to need all the artillery on the fort. And then this is this is our reinforcement for third corps, so first and second division is showing up, which you love to see. And I just need to protect my flanks over here. I do not want to have something like come out. So that's what those skirmishers are doing. They have really bad line of sight. Uh, watch out, rebel infantry spotted. Okay, that not, you know, you don't love to see that <laughs> right there. That is for sure. But we can deal with it. We, I mean, we will deal with it. It's not we can, we will. And then these guys, if you can shift up, that'd be perfect. If you guys go over here and then Silver Snipers, I actually need you guys out this way. 20 pounder doing its job, need you to hit over there. And then where are these guns? That's a 24 pounder, not really what I want. I need, uh, need parrot guns for this battle. Okay, here's some guys coming out. We can actually have you guys shift up over here, and then you guys move out would be great, like so. And then we can get you guys probably shifted into the middle. Uh, we probably need a piece of artillery over here. Just a 24 pounder. <laughs> Just. Just a 24 pounder, just one of the biggest pieces of artillery we can want. But we'll. We will figure this out. Okay. I would like, actually, something like that. And then you guys, something like that. You guys can move up over here. Wonder. Those guys are in kind of a precarious position. And then if you guys could actually move up over there, and All-American can sort of shift out of there. Okay, there's more reinforcements coming. I'll try to do a lot of post-editing on this video, um, so we can kind of, you know, get to the meat and potatoes of this, of this battle. Oh god, that piece of artillery. It has no ammo though, which is really interesting. Oh, okay, I don't <laughs> I don't want you guys in the front line. That's uh this bring Bring all of this around. You guys get back over here. This 24 pounder will do work over here. And then those 24 pounders are just taking their sweet time to move up. Um, there's some artillery out there that I would love to go go hit. Can we hit it with skirmishers? Ah oh, man, they're I don't I don't think so. That might be a little bit too difficult. Alright, you guys need to regroup. I don't really have a spot for them at the moment. Oh, we could go take on that would be great if we can take out that artillery over there. Maybe, maybe actually, uh, I really don't know what to do with silver snipers at the moment. 
And then, actually, can you guys hit that artillery? Uh, the 14 pounder James, probably better at hitting something else. 10 pounder parrot, let's put the 24 pounder over here. And then let's move you guys up. And then all of you guys need to hit that artillery. Now that artillery got over there, I don't like its spot, <laughs> which is very typical of me. Uh, Grant probably needed more over here. And then I wonder if we can, you know, move up a little bit. I don't feel great about this attack, but I think somebody killed right away. Start. Was that a Divisional Commander again? Man, are we just... Divisional Commander's not long for this battle. I mean, it is the American Civil War, so... Generals get lost all the time. I don't want to go to the river, or in the water, but I do... I do want to keep pushing on the enemy, especially if we can hit there. Man, another... another kill. We're, we're just taking it. It is not... This battle's not being kind to us at all. We are we're taking a lot of... A lot of casualties in our commanders. And... I expected some commander casualties. I wasn't really expecting it like this. Okay, they need to hit that. Probably move you guys up over here. Probably have you run. Um, man, that is... That's pretty nasty. Okay, read. How can we... Let's keep pushing up over here. Um, actually, I probably screwed up with Blue Devils and All-American right there, but that's... We're going to have to deal with that for the time being. Silver Snipers actually could probably fit in that gap over here. Let's have you guys move up. Ransom, you're probably in an okay position. Another major general wounded. Holy smokes. Um, Grant, you're probably needed down here. Now I think about it. Let's move you guys forward. Um, I think we broke that artillery, so we'll probably just do something like Keep you guys on that flank. Move you guys up. 24 pounder always needs to be sort of in the in the thick of things. 14 pounder James is doing well. Uh, if we can take out Reed, that would be great. Yep, Silver Snipers, they know what's up. If we can move you guys up too, this 24 pounder probably needs to actually shift like down the line. And this 14 pounder. James probably needs to shift down the line. You two move up while there's... I, I mean, there's not respite right now, but... Um, oh, man. It was not quite how I expected that to go. I need you guys to move up, please. Come on, take, take out that artillery. That would be great. Okay, they're wavering. Those guys routed. They're charging. That's interesting need you guys to hit that artillery. I think that other artillery broke, so that's perfect. Silver snipers go over here. Just need you guys to... Yeah, you know what? I think I think holding the river at that spot is a good, good place for you. Maybe shift these guys down this way. Um, Hellcats need to get back into the fight. Sorry to say. Uh, Moosley? Mot Mosley? <laughs> it kind of looked like Moosley. You, uh, we need to take him out. Keep shifting up. We're doing okay. We have 30 minutes, though. And I don't think we will take this. Is... Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, Grant, move, move up. Need you guys to move up. Keep, uh, keep pushing on. We, I mean, we've got them fleeing. 
problem is I don't know that timer is a little a little rough I would like you guys to cover that flank so cover that flank cover that flank Yeah, that's, I mean, the, the time constraint is a little rough with how late in the day we we really started this fight. But, I mean, we'll try. We will definitely try. I think we've shattered a lot of the artillery. We just need you guys to keep pushing forward. We need you guys to keep pushing forward. Push, push, push get these 24 pounders into positions where they can push. Hellcats are really taking it, really need to replace Hellcats. Who are you guys firing at now? Can you guys hit them? Um, see I would love if we could, I don't, there's not a lot over here, but man, I don't want to take stupid exorbitant amounts of casualties. That's the that's the big problem here. All right. I don't think a lot of this matters up over here now. All right. Can you guys charge Munford and can you guys can you guys push in more? You guys shift over here. Silver snipers. You guys seem to be doing okay. We have secured the south port. That is good to know. Hopefully, hopefully the battle doesn't just end on us. Oh man. Ironsides, gold standard. You're all in weird spots though. That's the problem. Can we get these 24 pounders up? You guys, not in a good spot. Liberty, move. Uh, gosh, come on. Get in the correct spot, Liberty. Ironsides are about to take it. And by take it, I mean uh, they're about to take some serious casualties by the looks of it. Okay, you guys need to move up. We can keep pushing this, this flank, then the fort should be a theoretical easy secure. Problem is, it's not... How is this unit so We must prevail. More of our brigades finally arrive on the battlefield. Secure the trenches before nightfall or else our offensive cannot continue. Okay, this is an absolute mess over here. Did not realize how how messy this situation was getting. Um, really need you guys to run into position. But there's there's a lot going on. And it's, uh, it's a little iffy. Uh, my 10-pounder parrot, I guess it couldn't hit Macintosh, so it was like, let's, uh, let's start running across the battlefield to, to try and hit them, so. Hopefully, I can stabilize things over here. We have that unit is just, you know, doing its, doing its thing. Let's grab some skirmishers just so... You know, nothing, nothing hokey happens. Wish I could take their, uh, their breastworks over there, their fortifications, because this is definitely proving a little bit more difficult than I imagined. I need you guys to get out of the water, Wolverines. Uh, in the water is not where you need to be. All right, 24 pounders over here. I mean, I, I feel very comfortable on this front. It's the other front. I don't feel... Well, I feel pretty good over there too, I guess. So I'm just I'm just creating a big giant line. And it's that's what that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a big big giant line. And then we're going to try and crush McGown so he's completely out of the situation. Because he's becoming a big giant thorn in our side. Um I really want like Northern Wall Electric Strawberry, you guys. To get into the fight, um, you're you're pretty fresh, I would say. Let's have you guys continue moving forward. Okay, uh, that's not good. You guys need to run. 
Right, Palmer just took a nasty volley. Foreman is not... They don't have any <laughs> stars, though. So that is a little... little concerning. Alright, I think we need to start moving 20-pounder parrot guns and all of you guys up over here. Um, Frank... God, I love that. It's like such a ridiculous Civil War name. Frank! Does anybody know of a historical general named Frank in the Civil War? It's just a... a boss... boss name. Okay. Let's keep pushing forward. Making sure that there's no... crisscross shenanigans about to drop. And then over here... I mean, we've... We're definitely pushing up. We need all of these guns over here to push up. With the main line, 24 pounders are absolutely useless at a far distance. McClellan, you're needed over here. Let's just get this line shifted up. Uh, Foreman. Main is in a really weird position. I'm, I'm like in a really weird position on that flank over there. Union commands point B. Yeah, that's, this is just like a very strange position. There's a lot of water over there. I'm not a big fan. Did we shatter these guys? That would be fantastic if we did. I hope we did. Uh, Funston surrendered. Who's Funston? Will it take me? Oh, Funston. Okay. Well, that was probably a mistake on my part in the grand scheme of things, but it works. No, see, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is a really, uh, really bad area. Come on, Wolverines, get, get over here. I need I need you guys to push forward. I need you guys to probably push like so. There's just not enough space over here for two. And that is our major problem. And then let's just keep pushing this artillery forward. Do we have artillery elsewhere? And then over here, we probably need to do something like, like that. Washington could go sit over here. Okay, there's artillery blasting us to pieces over there. Um, they withdrew, so that's perfect. Over here. Um, 20 pounder, 20 pounder, 14 pounder, let's, let's just have all of you sit more, actually, that's probably your guys' spot there. So, all of these guns move up over here, silver snipers, let's continue pushing over here. Ah, oh, there's some artillery. Okay, there's a juicy target for all of our parrot guns. Hit Miller. We need these 24 pounders to move forward. Quicksilver, move forward. Um, let's grab you guys. Force, supplies, supplies, supplies. Keep pushing forward. Probably need, like, Rhode Island over there. Um, capturing all those supplies early, really beneficial to us. Uh, really keeping our artillery going. I really love to see that. They're holding out over there. Who knows what they're holding out for? Ala, Ala back. Let's replace you with super. Okay, what's going on there? Please tell me that's not a bugged. Um, uh, looks like sure looks like it is. Bugged, bugged cavalry. Absolutely hate the bugged cavalry stuff. But yeah, just rolling through our lines. Nobody seems to be able to shoot them. Hopefully they shatter so that yeah, perfect. That's what we need to get rid of bugged cavalry is just shatter them. Um, we have two and a half hours and we still have to capture A and B. I don't know if capturing A and B actually does anything. Wolverines, you guys need to get out of there, but you're probably not going to. You're just going to sit there and, you know, take it, which not not what I want to see for sure. Alright, perfect. Wolverine's getting out of there. Alright, everybody shooting Miller is perfect. Uh, I mean, the Confederates aren't going to have much of an army after this. That's for... that's for damn sure. Let's move you guys up. 
where these 24 pounders move up. Horse, keep it going. Um, Quicksilver, get your men moving up. All of these guns, hopefully you guys are shooting at... Nope, nope, nope. Shoot at Miller. You guys need to be shooting at Miller. I don't think that 14-pounder can actually hit anything from that distance. I don't know about that flank over there, um, but we will certainly, certainly push forward. And then we'll do the same over here, just in case there's like not many men over there. That's the theory on what we're doing. I don't know if it's a good theory, but it's a theory. Cable, that's perfect. Need to hit cable. Okay, this is a mess over here. So can we? No. Okay. No. No. Okay. Just stop. All right, over here we could probably shift you guys forward. You guys are now a, a rear guard. Move these twenty-four pounders up. Move the supplies up. Just get a big giant line of troops behind. Um, 24 pounder, move you up. We have tons of, tons of men. Probably need all of these parrot guns to move up. Along with supplies for them. Let's grab you guys. And then, I feel like we could hit table with two, probably. And then we could probably shift up a little bit further. Probably shift up further some more. Probably move up over here. You guys move up over here. Silver snipers get on that flank. Yeah, let's just have you guys move up on the flank. Um, have you guys move up over here. What is that? Yule sighted, reinforcing rebel defense with infantry. So where... So, oh, he's in the center. Okay. That's, uh, that's a perfect place for Yule. I mean, not if I was a confederate, but for me, that's the perfect place for Yule. Um, there's some melee going on. We didn't really want that to happen. Okay, we need... Keep hitting that artillery. Hit Miller, please. Okay, Washington, old reliables. Need you guys up. Um, Stone, New Hampshire. Move up into the center. You guys go over here. Need you guys to hit Miller, too. I don't know how well we're doing, to be honest. What are... Oh my gosh, why? Alright, just run into position. I started seeing that happen in the American Revolution in my heart sink. Where the, where the units crisscross. The American Revolution had been doing so good about not having that happen for so long, and then I saw it happen and I was just... I was like, I was crushed. I was like, no, my least favorite feature of... <laughs> The American Civil War is in this game. Okay, keep keep pushing. This is uh like they're retreating faster than we can attack. We can't even see them, which is crazy. Like I I don't know where they are. Right, can we can we move up? Okay, that's fine. Hit the artillery, please. Need you guys to hit the artillery. Okay, this line's going to shrink dramatically as we do something like this. And then you guys will shift up like so. And then you guys will shift up, you guys will shift up. We need the... We need supplies to continue moving up with our artillery. McClellan needs to continue moving up. You guys make a line over here. Make a line over here. You guys, Frank, get in the fight, Frank. 
God, I just, I love that. I don't know why I love it, but I just do. Oh, electric strawberry. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to route you. I wanted you guys to fall back. Stop, stop, stop. I've screwed up. I've moved too far. Okay, uh, well, electric strawberry is going to continue routing. Okay. Let's get these guns into position. That's fine. Can you guys move more like that? Can we take this objective? Man, there are so many men over here! Holy cow! Alright, parrot guns hit brown. There's no more artillery over here. So these parrot guns actually need to move up over here. I don't know if they'll make it in time, but let's, uh, let's have them move up. Let's have you guys move up over here. Quicksilver, you're needed. If we can break all of this, that'll be perfect. Can we... Infantry from our reserves are ready to attack. That is completely unneeded at this point. Like, what are they going to do? Uh, somehow make it into this fight in time? I don't know. No, what are you doing? Quit crossing like that. Come on, come on. An hour 20. I think we can take all of these objectives. Um, we just need to really wrap all of this up. There's a, there's a piece of artillery I really want dead. Can you hit that? And then all of these 24 pounders keep moving up. Keep moving up the reserves. I mean, and by reserves I mean the wounded and crippled. Electric strawberry though, you're looking good. Wolverines, you're not looking good. Wolverines, you sit over there. Actually, Alabak, sit over there. Over here. This is not... Oh, uh, man. Okay. I think we need to reform the line, is probably what we need to do. We'll have you guys sit over here. We need you guys to... Yeah, move there. Uh, Excelsior, you need to get out of there. Probably have you guys move up. Where's the 14 pounder James? You're in a good spot. Move you guys up. Quicksilver, you're needed over here. Another another major general killed. You guys need to get out of there. And then like people like Electric Strawberry, Northern Wall. That just doesn't make uh, okay. That's fine, just run. As long as you run. What's Northern Wall? Okay. An hour and three. I don't know if we'll get that objective in an hour and three. That's just, uh... Attacking these breastworks over here, not a great idea. And our line of sight onto their artillery is just disappearing, which is also problematic. Okay, that's not working. Let's have you guys go over here. This is not a clean battle by any stretch of the imagination. Gary, also another funny Civil War name to me. I just, I think those names are really funny for Civil War. Like, you've got names like PG Beauregard, and then here's Frank and Gary. Frank! All, all I can think about is, uh, <laughs> his men in black, Frank. That's all I can think about with Frank. That name has been forever, forever tainted. Okay, move up. Your name's Frank. It's an awesome name, but I will forever think of you as a pug. Okay. We have an artillery target, at least I thought we did. Maybe we don't. Come on, break Harris. He's only got 200. 
and 23 men left. That's crazy. 48 minutes. I don't think we're going to capture this objective. Can you guys run? Love if you would run. Can we get behind them? Can you guys run? Alright, Northern Wall, Brooklyn, come on, keep pushing forward. Stone just routed. This flank over here, not doing well. We're taking horrific casualties. And as I said, it's probably like they're retreating faster than we can move forward. And I haven't even looked at that other flanking group. Um, I'm really concentrating on trying to take this objective if possible. And what I want to do is push up into there. Gerald, another fantastic name. Everybody loves Gerald. Okay, you guys need to go this way. Patriots, get out of there. And I, I think, I don't know. I mean, we are, I feel like we're doing well. We've obviously taken a lot of casualties, and that's not, you know, the greatest thing, but I don't feel, I don't feel terrible about it either. Because this is the final battle, and really, the casualties don't matter. It's like, whose line is it anyways? Okay. I think it is time... To really push forward. Keep pushing. Alright, there's their artillery. We finally found it. Every single parrot gun hit that piece of artillery. Okay, I think... I think we can actually take this objective, which is crazy. Okay, fighting first probably needs to move over here. Let's keep pushing forces forward. Do we have any 24 pounders? Let's push the 24 pounders up. Um, all of these guns down here that have to be absolutely exhausted needed all the way up there. McClellan, where is McClellan? Need you up here. Need all of these guys to push forward. Need all of these supplies to push forward. We have captured the point. It says 50 minutes to hold or contest, but... Alright. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, there's a lot of charging going on. A lot of confusion going on. Let's have all of you guys move up. Move up, Michigan. And we just need to hold. Okay, can we get Massachusetts and Rhode Island out of there? That would be fantastic. Can Maine get out of there? Can you guys move over onto this flank. Actually, maybe maybe just you three move out onto this flank, and then you guys move over here. Over Liables, no idea what you're doing. Rhode Island, get up over here. New Hampshire, please move up. Move up. Electric Strawberry is in a good spot. No, 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 that's too far for that 24-pounder. What the heck are you doing? These 24 pounders move up, please. And then we just need all the support. And then, as I said, all the parrot guns need to target Brown. Okay, perfect. All right, can we, what are you guys doing? That's not, 
where I wanted you to go, is it? Maybe it is. I feel like it's a little, little too far, but George Foreman, he's uh, moving up on that flank. Supplies doing good. Rhode Island, move up. This is absolute madness, but hopefully it lets us continue through. I mean, it's 11 o'clock. It's probably not going to let us continue for much longer, but we do control this point. Um, be a real big shame if it absolutely makes us hold it for 50 minutes or however long it originally made us hold it for. Okay, all of these parrot guns feel like you are nearly out of range. Quicksilver, you're needed up here. Washington, Patriot, Stone, Maine. Um, just, you know, go go sit in those woods. You're you're good over there. All of this artillery is doing fine. No. Just, oh, gosh. Okay, whatever. Yeah, the AI is so good at just immediately hitting you in the flank. It's pretty insane. Okay, keep pushing forward. I mean, we have nearly defeated their entire army. Come on, guys, run. Move up, move up, move up. Man, this video is so long. I, I really apologize, guys, for the length of this video. Um, I, I might... I still might cut this in two. If, if the battle ends here, this might be a two-part, so we'll see. Alright, continue beating the crap out of these guys. Push forward. Why do you have to crisscross? least favorite thing. I know somebody told me, you know, like, control your guys one at a time. It's so tedious, in, especially in situations like this. It's like, just let me, uh, just let me move my forces forward and have them move forward as their main prerogative, not, not sideways. Sideways makes zero sense. Okay, get round here. Uh, Screaming Eagle, or Old Reliables, you're probably not really needed as much anymore. 24 pounders, push forward. 24 pounder, push forward. 10 pounder hit Braxton. What are all of our parrot guns doing? I need you to hit Braxton. And have you guys move up. Ah, uh, fort must be held till nightfall. Okay. Okay, so down in the south, although we secured the trenches, it is of utmost importance to capture the fort near the city. Otherwise, we'll not be able to launch our next attack toward Richmond. And then more reinforcements coming. That is... that is pretty crazy. Okay, I, I think we can hold the fort. I like how it goes dark light, dark light, dark light. Um, as long as we can get into position, our, our men seem to be struggling a little with some of the positioning. But I think we can move Hellcats down there. I mean, we have 24 pounders. Can they get into the fort? And then you guys up here. If you guys can, you know, move out over here, that would be fantastic. Uh, somebody surrendered. Cool. Let's have you guys withdraw. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we should probably just crush these guys, right? There's nothing left of them, unless they get major reinforcements, which is, you know, very possible. Let's move that cav out over there. We are late. General Gordon counterattacks with his divisions. Okay, I mean, that's... I don't... 
Do I care about this? I don't know. I feel like I don't... I don't know if I care about that. Like, we have... We have plenty of men... We'll sit over here, and then we can... We can move these 24 pounders over here. We can move this artillery out over here. We can shift some of these guys up that way. Yeah, so I don't I don't think this is a this is an issue. We have skirmishers over here. And then their their general is <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I do not know what their general thinks he is doing. Grant can probably move up over here too. Ransom can move over there. We'll leave the 14 pounder James over here and then we'll push forward with these guys because the fort's a little little janky actually to be honest for moving our forces around it feels like there's a bunch of yeah we just killed their general at least i'm pretty sure we just did now we've got more men over here We've got our silver repeaters. We've got our swift shooters. We've got our silver scabbards. I, I don't... This doesn't feel like it should bother me at all. We just need to wrap up over here. Honestly, we could probably grab two cavalry, move them out onto this flank. Move you guys up. You guys are doing a good job over here. Could probably put silver snipers over here, to be honest. And just have you guys kind of sit like so. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm not too worried about this. Maybe you guys could dismount. I don't know. This, this feels like it just doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Wait! Did I lose Gr Oh, no, no. Oh, God. I thought I lost Grant for a moment. I was like, okay, well, that's not good. <laughs> Phew. Yeah, I, I thought I lost Grant for a moment there. My D key is not working. I... If any of you have cats, the amount of hair that cats get into literally everything is absolutely insane. Oh, Silver Repeaters, you're not doing good. Not doing well. English is a great language. Well is the correct terminology there. Yeah, I'm getting hair from my cats stuck in my, my keyboard. So if any of you have any tips on that, besides get rid of the cats, that's not the appropriate answer because I don't know if you guys know but when you own cats you don't really own cats they own you so it's uh it's an interesting situation okay silver repeaters I feel like you guys are doing fine this offensive over here doesn't matter whatsoever can you guys scout out over there a little bit more why don't we just have glory and Hellcats actually sit in the fort, and that would work perfectly fine. You guys over here, and I'm just making sure that there's nothing left over here before we kind of go into mop-up mode. Actually, I want you guys to remount. You guys can remount, and then you skirmishers can go over here, and then we're, we'll move them to a different part of the battlefield. Grant, Ransom, Gold Standard. Yeah, this feels, uh, this feels pretty, pretty done. So let's see if we can shatter them. Can Silver Scabbards take care of them? 14 pounder jeans move out over there. Okay, uh, they're done. So it doesn't matter. Okay, 
you guys move out over here. And oh, proceeding to next day. I think I think that was a proceeding to next day. They have no men left, which is the thing. Okay, guys, so this is how we look after day one. I did go ahead and um, move around some of the supply a little because the supply was a little um, like all over the place. We had zero in first core and 35 in fourth core. Um, actually, fourth core should probably go down some more and first core should go up some more. So that's the plan there. And then I replaced a bunch of commanders here. Um, some of our units taken absolutely atrocious casualties, but that is Richmond for you. And then let's go into day two. Okay, day two of R the Battle of Richmond, 16th of March, 1865. Yesterday, we had one of our fiercest fights. We lost many good soldiers that followed us from the start of the war. If we could, we would avoid this battle, which apparently gives the Confederates a chance to destroy our army as the city's defenses are very strong. Nevertheless, we also have the chance to end the Civil War today. That gives our men courage to continue the attack with the sacrifice of thousands of our soldiers. We secured the eastern defensive perimeter of Richmond. We now prepare our final assault, which might yield the final victory for the Union. Yesterday, we succeeded in securing the eastern entrenchments by penetrating and capturing the command post located here and down here and all the way down here. Continue to Newbridge Road. We also captured a port. I wonder if it'll go down all the way that way. This is a huge map, pretty crazy. And ending at Williamsburg Road, we also captured the fort that commanded this strategic area. Yep, I already told you that we captured the fort. Um, and then this looks spicy. Today we're going to attack the east side of Richmond, and this is not going to be easy. Five forts and strong trench networks around the city. Two forts are dominating the southeast defenses. Why don't we attack them where they don't have anybody? Because we we absolutely crush their army. A powerful star fort is guarding the eastern route to Richmond, and then a little bit more over here. Another Confederate fort is located further north. Yep, yep. Go figure. And then let me guess, another fort over here. And lastly, this one is blocking the north side of the city. Our army is going to begin the attack from this direction. Uh, it would be great if we just like attacked from one point, broke through the defenses, and then um, kind of spread out like cockroaches. When the Confederates begin shifting their forces to the north, we will start a simultaneous attack from the east um, and southeast. And I just wanted the battle to end. Unfortunately, we didn't make the battle end, and the Confederates seem to have like 300 guns left, even though we crushed all of their artillery. We have to progressively capture all the forts. This will allow us to proceed to town and force the remaining rebels to surrender. General, we are ready to attack at your command. Well then, get on with it! It's like Monty Python, get on with it! This fort must be captured in order to secure our advance from the north. In about two hours, the rest of our army will attack simultaneously from all sides, which is not generally how I like to go about things. On the battlefield, we are moving out, and we're going to push this right flank and try to wrap around the fort over here. There's obviously some sort of cannon over here, but I believe the fort has most of their forces. I think it's about 6,200 men and 62 guns. You can see their force is really beat up, so we'll see what this uh, artillery is right here. Um, I do have my guys running up, or at least they are trying to run up. And deal as much damage as they can. And there we go. I wonder if we can maybe charge those guys. Looks like it's a definite possibility. Oops, I did not mean to rotate you. I don't even know how I did that. Learning something new every time you play. Alright, let's push back behind there. You guys need to push back. Long Street, you're not... You probably don't want to do that. You guys move up. Alright, 24 pounders probably need to move up in these woods. And then the 20 pounders probably need to continue down this way. I think we shattered them, so perfect. Let's continue moving forward. Can probably skirt silver snipers down this way. Um, that is a really dumb decision by them. I don't know how that even thinks that that was a flanking attack. But we need to keep pushing out. 
onto this flank. Keep snaking out this way. And then grab silver snipers, try and get them down there. Old reliables, get you guys down there. Grab you two, push up over here. And then lucky lads and the colonials will probably have you guys move over this way. And then we can grab these skirmishers and do some harassing. Try and uh, get the attention of their artillery and to be in position when we actually push forward on the horses. But looks like we're we're pushing well. Can probably continue moving here. Greg should in theory route. Yep, there we go. Alright, keep moving the 24 pounders up. And then the the parrot guns. We'll put you guys over here. And then keep moving up over onto this flank. All reliables, keep moving up. Silver snipers, roughnecks, and New Hampshire. Oh, and then Quicksilver. I forgot to bring you a force. You're a force to be reckoned with. Can't believe I haven't made that terrible joke all campaign. Almost disappointed in myself. All right, we need to keep uh, keep pushing up. Didn't realize that was another artillery piece right there, so we'll try try and deal with that. That's uh, some nasty artillery they have over there. That is for sure. And then move these twenty four pounders up. Let's have these guns wherever you are. Shoot at Haskell, and then. All of you guys can move up like so. Silver snipers continue running down there. Quicksilver move up, force move up. Artillery pieces are getting into position to shoot. Haskell, uh, Benning, that's probably not a very good decision on your part. Uh, I would rather them shoot at our skirmishers, so we'll continue. We should probably move these guys back just a tad. Move you guys a little bit. And then we can... These are some big artillery pieces, that is for sure. They're dealing a hell of a lot of damage to us. Let's continue pushing forward. Um, maybe something like this. And then Quicksilver, move up. Grab these, the... Uh, Rifled guns, position them over here, or maybe even like so, and then we can really loop around over here, make sure nobody's, you know, out on this flank, but I highly doubt it. And move force over. Where's Quicksilver? Quicksilver is in a perfectly fine position. I think he's in a perfectly fine position. Uh, Ohio, you are not in a good position. That is for sure. Alright, let's get some of these skirmishers pushing on up. Let's have you guys push up. Okay, Ohio, I, I know I told you to retreat with the F button, but that was a little, little much. Okay. The line's a little bit weird here. But we'll figure it out. We can if we can get these parrot guns over here. That would be great. And then let's continue continue moving up like so. And then you guys need to move up. Okay, that was that looked really ugly. And then I don't know what I just did there. Oh, and I'm just having skirmishers shatter. Okay, so this is uh, not exactly what I was planning over. Oh my goodness, how many you guys are going to do that? Come on. Okay, whatever. Not going to complain about it, even though I just did. Keep moving up, 
keep moving up. Just uh, crush, crush all the forces. Move on up like so, and then you guys move on up, and then you guys move up. Move up. And then the parrot guns need to target the artillery. Okay, now you guys can kind of kind of squeak in here. You guys need to regroup with your parent unit. Um, you guys... I was going to say, probably not the best units to do this with, but they're what's over there, so we shall... No, 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 Why would you do that? I mentioned I started seeing that in the American Revolution. I hope they, like, whatever causes them to do that, um, the crisscrossing, I hope they, they stop that. Because for a while there, the American Revolution wasn't doing that, and it was beautiful, and now, now the American Revolution is doing it, and it's, oh my goodness. Okay, get out of there, patriots. Alright, keep, uh, keep pushing up. Alright, hit them, hit them. And then you guys move up behind. And then there'll be, you know, like, nothing over here. So we'll just prepare for the next phase where we have to move that direction. Okay, Anderson surrender. Okay, Yuri Anderson, got it. Ow! Come on, guys. Oh, man. That's pretty brutal. Okay. This is a little, little tougher than I was hoping for on this flank, but to be honest, once, uh... Once we secure this flank, it's... it's over. Maybe they should get pry. But I, I guess we have to secure the flank before... before it's all said and done, and it's not exactly going according to plan right now. Alright, now we're... uh, New England, what the... Or New Hampshire. The heck happened there? Okay, shoot, shoot them, shoot the artillery. You guys will go over here. Come on, keep hitting their artillery. Okay, stop. Just move forward. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Alright, you guys can start moving down this way. Somebody get into melee? Petrius got into melee somehow. And then Roughnecks got into melee somehow. Okay, Quicksilver, come over here please. And then we're just going to start moving you guys down here, and start moving you guys down here. Basically getting ready for the next phase because, um... Come on. Because this is basically over. Right, let's put you guys in the fort. Patriots in the fort. Brink. Favorite, favorite Civil War meme. Brink. Alright, Quicksilver, do your thing. Little glitch in the matrix there. 
Still blasting away at these guys. Oh uh, man, are they going to... Right. I guess we haven't cleaned them up yet. That's disappointing. Come on, keep uh, keep pushing, pushing into these guys. We have the fort. We just need these guys to die. I wasn't really expecting them to get out of here, so probably need like colonials, Frank, all of you guys to move down here. I need like you guys to move over here. Um, I don't know how low low is still in the fight. There we go. He's retreating a little. And commence the attack from the east. So we get a bunch of reinforcements here. Um, it's absolutely overkill, to be honest, but that is uh, how it is. I'm going to pause this real quick, and then I'm going to command everybody to move down. So it's just the majority of our brigades can now attack. The east side of town, do not hesitate. Bring your men forward. And then there's another fort with another like 800 million guns. Oh, and we're already over there. Perfect. Our main target are the forts. Concentrate all your firepower near the forts. This one, and then this one. Um, and they're probably really powerful. So as I said, I'm going to pause and I'll be back. Okay, a lot of guys moving out. See if we can grab this over here. To so hit them while they're in the in the water and shatter them, or get them to surrender. There is a bunch of artillery in the fort, and then I bet we can charge this artillery. Oof. Okay, that's fine. Uh, another wounded. You don't like to see it. Oh man, that's a lot of artillery up there. Man, where did they get all of this artillery from? We destroyed, like, all of their artillery. When you think about it. Alright, can we, can we take these guys out, please? And then we need to support over here. Um, that's probably ill-advised on my part. I probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, can you... Yeah, they're routing now. Okay. As I said, ill-advised. I keep telling you guys to attack down here, and you... Keep ignoring that, so that's always great. Alright, so we pushed pushed one lot off. But now we are um, not doing well. That's an uh, understatement. Alright, so let's bring you guys down. Maybe not quite like that. Oh man. What? This is, uh, this is a crazy amount of artillery. Okay. That's fine. We will try and deal with it. Alright. Come on, keep keep shooting their artillery. Keep moving up. You guys need to shoot them. Cavalry. Lots of cavalry. I would like the cavalry to eventually move down here. Um, okay, you guys don't... Just shoot them, please. I don't think that will work. Okay. Can you guys... No. Okay. Uh... Playing a little loose right now. As you can tell. Mainly because... It's a little difficult... To keep up with all of this artillery. Okay. My fort... I have taken the fort, and then we'll have a better attack on the next fort. Uh, okay, good, good, good. Keep. Okay, there's a there's a shatter. If we can, if we can keep up the pressure on their artillery. Uh, Union secure, secured fort Johnston or Johnson, not Johnston. Okay, let's have you guys continue running down this way, and then the artillery. Uh, I do wish there was a way, like in future games, you could deploy sort of like in two ranks as opposed to one big giant line. That would be something I would really, really, really love to see. Okay, so it's uh, New York 
I, I had a unit that was like partially off the map and now they are they are fully off the map. Okay. Let's have you guys move up. Let's have you guys continue to harass there. Let's have you guys move up into that gap. Over here, you guys can be sort of a supporting unit. And then we need 20 pounder guns moving up. Lucky lads, you can you can take a break. Silver repeaters, just go down here. Do your do your thing. Silver snipers. Um, would like you guys to hit the artillery. Really colonials, you guys can go take a break too. And then this is kind of what's going on. It's uh, a lot of a lot of craziness. We sort of have like the old guard over here. Okay, uh, that's not really what I meant. Come on, move up. Newton, and then, yep, you're good. All of the artillery moving on in. Okay, that's a uh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, can we? Kind of move in. It's probably too many units to grab. So let's let's move three, and then let's grab like all of you guys and have you be at another line. All right, that was no bueno. Okay, have you guys move up, and then. See if you guys can, can kind of move into the slot. You guys move up and then see. I don't think our artillery's ready yet. That's alright. Okay. This flank is a little little scary. Where's uh where's Quicksilver? Okay. I need Quicksilver to be in the fray. Need more guys moving on up. Okay, we're taking a lot of casualties trying to take the Star Fort, which makes sense. It's a pretty nasty looking fort. Ooh, that was also nasty. Move up, Newton. We need your. What do they call it? Morale bubble? Okay, Glory, move up. Green Mountain, and then the Old Guard. That's what I like to call my three stars, Napoleon's Napoleon's Old Guard. All right, we do need the 24 pounders to move all the way forward, and the 14 pounder Jameses. You guys probably about there. Man, that entire like center of mine disappeared, which is not what you want to see. It's now artillery in that center. Alright, can we get you over here, Grant over here, and then Newton, and that'll be great. And I'm going to start speeding this up because I think everybody is now routing, including my own guys. Okay, I cut out that little bit at the end because it's just a bunch of glitching units going back and forth and you can see a big giant dead pile there. So attack from the south has begun. And this is just continuation of what was before. So while our forces attack Richmond from north and east, more of your corps are starting to attack from south. And there's, I mean, there's nothing left on this flank. I, I think this is even less men. We must climb the high ground and storm this fort. Sounds like a normal Union plan. Go through a river uphill into breastwork positions. It's not like Fredericksburg whatsoever. And the other next to it, then the way to Richmond will be open, which that is Richmond right there. So... The enemy, I mean, how many men do they have? 22, 50. So there's, there's nothing of them. I'm going to pause, give a bunch of orders, and then we'll be right back. Okay, forces are moving out. We are under artillery fire already, which is interesting that they can see us and we can't see them. That is a, um, I will say that's a problem that Game Lab seems to have quite often is line of sight issues. I'm also moving a couple guys. I've realized the Starport is an objective. And you never know when the enemy might uh, do something 
crazy and we don't really need our entire army to take on this uh, tiny, <laughs> tiny force uh, uh, on their end, so this is what we are doing. And then I don't even know if our artillery will make it in time. But I do want to get across, uh, across the river because the river is just an absolute awful thing. Oh, I guess they've got a line of sight thing up there, so that kind of makes a little bit more sense um, when you think about it. So all of these guys going that way. McClellan, you're uh, you're doing your thing. Everybody's like really tired, which is a big problem. We're going to speed speed this up a little and then try and grab all of you guys would be great and then let's see we need the 24 pounders up close and then the parrot guns uh actually there we go there's our target okay so let's have you guys move on up and then all of you guys <laughs> including the unit that's very very much behind you guys will move up hope i did that right i think i did that right um okay can you guys finally uh i forgot to run them that's my bad so we will have to deal ironsides just kind of sitting in the water which is Feels very typical for a Union unit to do. Alright, let's, uh, let's move you guys up. That other unit's going to take forever to get here. Um, they're just really, really struggling, so we're just going to put them on a, a heavy flanking move. And then, oh my gosh guys, get out of the water. Hopefully, I think that's starting to work. I think we still need to... There we go. Okay. I would like you guys to move up over here. This artillery now needs to move up over here. And... You guys... Oh, now you want to move really fast. I mean, it makes sense. They were, they were in the water. I haven't used any skirmishers this battle. I completely understand that, and that's mostly laziness on my part. I'm really lazy at this point of the battle. Not not going to lie. Uh, or or this part of the war, you could even say. And we're just at the point where it's like, let's uh, let's get this over with. Let's get get the war over. I'm sure the troops feel the exact same way. I mean, these are not our greatest tactics. It very much feels like uh, the very, well, like November 11th of 1918, where it's like, let's do one last attack! But, sir, the enemy is surrendering. Yeah, we don't care. Like, just one, one, one last push. It's like, oh, okay. But there's no reason to, and you know, that's that's literally what this feels like at this point, is just uh, appeasing politicians. <laughs> this is a crazy way to think about it. Okay, so I'm going to secure the south of here, and we're going to move over this artillery. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because I do know that militia has like, I don't even know what you want to call it. I think it's supposed to be uh, militia. I think that's what it's supposed to represent. But there, there's basically like a militia that comes out. And... Oh, guys, move forward and hit the artillery, please. Yeah, okay. This is where we take stupid casualties because uh, we're not paying attention to to the artillery. Okay. Come on, go hit them. Move up. Just keep keep moving up, keep pushing. 
All right, uh, Super Sloth, you can hold that, you can hold that. And then over here, we'll move you guys up. McClellan, push up over here. And I think we're doing, we're just doing the good old wrap up here. I even have it on super fast forward mode and it's, uh, well, it's, I guess it's not super fast forward mode, but. Okay, I cut out that part. They still have a couple cannons and some supplies and a couple guys left, but um, now I believe the entire map opens up. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure. So the rebels are desperately defending to the last man. It is madness to keep attacking men fall like flies from rifle fire and cannon shots, but we must continue advance, advance to the city. Meanwhile, the Confederate cavalry has been spotted operating to our flanks and poses a real threat to attack us at any time now. I don't think they have any cavalry left. So, not sure about that. Uh, there's a supply wagon, so that's that's cool. Can we can we go grab it? <laughs> uh, we're just going to steal their forts and put the very badly beat up units and then that's just okay, yeah, yeah. The defendant the rebels are defending the south strongly. I mean, there was nothing going on over there. The Confederates are not giving up. Thousands die, but we must continue the advance. Give them, give them steel charge. And then down here, what do you think? Uh, more Confederate cavalry is threatening your other flank. Their attack is imminent. Brace yourselves. Okay, Gandalf. You guys need to fill that gap, and then Electric Strawberry will also fill the gap. Okay, these 24 pounders clearly needed right here. Are they just charging through? That was really weird on their part. Oh, and we... made sure... <laughs> that, like, little tiny crappy charge. Uh, that... What a way to lose the war. Like, last stupid charge of the war. And the game's like, oh, here's a major general taken out of action. Like, thanks, game. Thanks. Uh, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Okay, let's, uh, let's move the 24 pounders up. Let's move McClellan up. And then we, we need to, really need to take out that artillery and then, um, I don't really know what else we're doing at this point. Besides just trying to get the campaign to end. So can we, can we secure Richmond? I know there's some guys that come, so I just, I don't want them to, like, really spawn on our flanks. Rebel Cavalry is flanking us! Hampton, and who else? Just Hampton. And Chu! Okay. Um, I don't know if I consider that, like, a flank attack, but sure. Are you guys really... Can we just... Can we go take it out? Alright, we control Richmond, so perfect. We'll put you guys behind. We'll grab you guys, put you in a, in a line. Illinois, we'll put you over here. Now or never! <sighs> Isn't that a Bon Jovi <laughs> line? The day is ending and soon the battle will be over. We must capture the town and the forts or else we will fail. One final charge can bring the bring the total victory. March to glory! Alright, and then here's like the whole, whole map. Alright! Cavalry! Charge! Uh, charge! <laughs> And I think the I think the militia just came on. Okay. Skirmishers, move up. Skirmishing cav, move up. All of this ridiculous amount of infantry. Create a line. We must not let a single Richmond guy unit thing. Get out of here. Okay. Um, 
still need you guys to hit you. And then you guys can go over here. What is this? Uh, some supplies? Can we... Can you guys move over and take it? I, I don't feel like moving anybody else. Oh, the silver... They took some casualties. Not many. Okay. I think... I think we can move on up. And uh, it says the Confederates have secured Richmond. I don't believe that will be the case for very long. How are we doing on Shu? He's uh, really, really struggling. I mean, so are we. We're, we're also really struggling. So let's see if we can capture that. Um, these are going to be the only things that survive. Nine... Nine guys from a supply company. Nine guys does not sound as good as five guys. You guys know, you know. Okay, um, let's move, move up. Yeah, that's not going to go well for you. Let's move you guys behind just in case. How do you... How did they break through? Oh, come on. No. No, they shouldn't be able to break through like that. Oh, um, do I really have to go chase them down now? How obnoxious. They shouldn't break through like that. A cornered Hampton. Chu was down in this corner too. So Hampton should die soon. Uh, we are still trying to get these guys. I don't know if there's anybody left down over here. Um, somebody did. They probably did. Retreat. That direction. Yep, there's a whole, whole slew of them. How obnoxious. Alright, you two there you guys down over here All right there's one shatter come on come on come on come on no 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 don't <laughs> don't let them escape oh gosh this is so painful come on we just have we captured did we capture? Oh, thank God. Oof, okay. As you can tell, I was getting a little tired of that one. Wow, look at all the, the commanders in that. Beauregard, Yule, Anderson, Hill, Longstreet, Gardner, Kemper, Hampton, John Gordon. All right, so casualties. Uh, 34,000 for us, 58,000 for them for infantry, heck of a lot more. So obviously we didn't play well. Uh, I, I think if there was a battle after this, would have probably played a lot differently. I threw a lot of men away. Um, it was definitely not very good. Some t very good kills by 24 pounders. Uh, some of their units did pretty well, but as usual, mostly us that did really well. Officers. I don't know if all of this is right because we did replace a lot of officers between. John Newton, congratulations on your promotion to three star at the very, very end of the war. Rodney Tyler, that really sucks. You uh, you died right at the very end. And then captured a bunch of supplies, some Richmonds, Tyler, Texases. You know, for capturing uh, Richmond, that is a pathetic amount of, of capture. But that is it. That is the end of the campaign. Battle reward, nothing! 35 reputation. We captured a bunch of prisoners and got no money, got no recruits because the war is over. Grand victory! Hooray! The Union has finally prevailed. The Confederate capital is taken and the rebels signed a peace treaty accepting our terms. The brutal civil war that cost the lives of thousands and divided our nation for more than four years is finally over. All Confederate generals have surrendered, including Lee, your greatest adversary. The country will be united again and slavery shall cease to exist in the United States. 
The Reconstruction Era begins that will reform our nation and ensure that Americans will never fight Americans again, except on Twitter and Facebook and all media outlets. All right, we, uh, these are all our medals. You have won the war and lead the Union forces to complete victory by capturing Richmond. Thanks to you, the War of the Rebellion has ended and our country is again united. Every American considers you the ultimate general and absolute and unbeatable hero glorified in American history forever. In a landslide election, the nation has voted you president of the United States. The whole world will speak about your heroic feats for years to come. Uh, well, not sure I would be a good president. Quicksilver for president, huh? Uh, so this is our total statistics. Um, so in total, we lost a quarter of a million infantry, 4,636 artillery crew, 5,695 cavalry, which means somewhere along the line. Actually, I wonder if this includes like all troops, like not just ours, but the, the AI commanded ones, because about like 2,700 of that cavalry was lost just at Gettysburg. I think I lost Buford's entire cavalry division, although I think some of those were uh, technically skirmishers by the theme standards. Only 92 soldiers were captured, very interesting. And then total kills, 662,521 infantry, 48,467 artillerymen, and 27,106 cavalrymen, total captured. 20,924. I'm pretty sure there are only 9 million uh, people that lived in the South that were, um, what would you call it, that, that were not slaves. I, I think there were another 6 million slaves or so, but I think there are 9 million free people in the South. So the fact that, uh, what's that like, we'll, we'll say about 750,000 were killed, captured, wounded, uh, not looking good for the South. I don't know how they will reconstruct without an entire generation of male population. Like, you would look at a population graph and, uh, it's gone. Absolutely gone. But that's technically, uh, you know, uh, historically what happened. Not that they were gone, per se, but, um, the, the South just didn't have the manpower that the Union did. Um, they, they they really didn't. I, I believe it was somewhere around they had 9 million uh, free men. And free is a loose term because uh, the poor in the South were dirt poor. Absolutely dirt poor. So that is it, though. That is the end of the campaign. Thank you guys for watching. If you watched the entire series, please leave a like below. Or actually, you know, everybody leave a like below. But if you watched the entire series, please comment below and let me know because that is absolutely awesome. Even if you're watching this years down the line and you watch the entire series, I would love to know. I will still see the comment. I will still like it, heart it, and maybe even comment back. I, I love reading your guys' comments. They're awesome. Thank you for sticking through this entire campaign. This is an absolute blast. I love this game. If you are on the fence about buying this game, I know it's about seven years old by the time this is recorded. It's worth it. It's so awesome. Yeah, there's things I don't like about it every once in a while. The scaling as the um, the, the way to make the game hard is a interesting mechanic, but it does keep the game hard. Or at least more of a challenge than uh, just steamrolling the enemy. The battles are beautiful. They The stages are awesome. The, the customization in the game is amazing. I spent hours upon hours upon hours uh, customizing my forces, um, saving and then reloading to, to build the army that I wanted to build. I loved um, all the different weaponry, all the different cannons. It, absolute blast of game. Naming your units is such an amazing feature that so many games need to have. Total War has it. Well, for the most part, Total War has it. And um, Ultimate General Series seems to have it too. Uh, one, one of my favorite aspects. So please like, comment, subscribe, all of that YouTube jazz. Love you guys for watching. As always, until next time.